topper coat, but I was not willing to pray, put, pay <laughs> the price. This is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome back to my channel. Hello to all my subscribers, new and those who have been with me from the beginning. And I, today I'm going to give you an update on my experience with Parshmark. I am a Parsher. If you're not familiar with Parshmark, Parshmark is an app where you can, a marketing app, where you can buy and sell items from your closet. So you can purchase from others and you can sell things from your closet. I love it since I'm an avid thrifter and I'm constantly recycling. It's a great way for me to make a tiny little bit of a profit, not too much because I do teach. So this is just kind of like a little side hustle, I guess you could say, now that I'm looking to make any kind of exorbitant amount of money from it because I'm really not consistent enough to be what you would call um, a star parser or whatever they call it but if you upload consistently and you share constantly and you know you just like others and comments a lot you can build up your clientele and you can really do well on Poshmark I just don't have the time so it's just a nice little a venue for me to just upload whenever I want to at my leisure. So I really have had a really great experience with Parshmark. I, uh, prior to this past week, I had only purchased one item, but this past week I treated myself and I actually purchased three things from Poshmark, two of which I'm going to share with you today. The other one is on the way. It should be arriving tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, as far as sales go, like I say, I have sold, you know, some things on Parshmark, but not enough to where this could be, you know, a full-time job for me. I just have not invested that time. Um, Parshmark has really been great. I have not had any bad experiences. The people that I buy from, I really thoroughly scour through their closets to look and see if they are, uh, have good ratings, if they have, you know, sh good time shipment if their items are quality and so if I'm not 100% confident with buying I don't buy so I've had really great experience and experience with buying <laughs> getting tongue-tied I'm talking too fast let me slow down but yes so really great experience uh, as far as me selling I only had one person to file a claim against me and um, so my warning to you would be when you upload be as descriptive as possible show as many of the flaws that you can pick out as possible in pictures so nobody can say that you did not mention that uh, so if you have been following me for a while I did purchase a um, Burberry a handbag some time ago and I did refurbish that and I uploaded it. It turns out it was authentic. I was able to find uh, out where the date coat was in it. It was hidden inside of the inside pocket. So anyway, long story short, I uploaded, I thoroughly said um, as much as I could about the bag. I showed the, mentioned the flaws, showed the flaws about the piping, you know, being scuffed and scratched and all of that. Um, but when they got it, they said not as described. And I'm like puzzled thinking, what do you mean not as described? What was not mentioned? And so she said it had a pungent odor um, that it did not have because I had thoroughly cleaned it out. She said it had a strong mold odor. But you know, everybody's t smells are different. So I, you know, I was kind of upset in the beginning but then I started thinking you know everybody's sense of smell is different maybe that was just her way of trying to getting out the you know getting out of the buy because once she got it it really wasn't what she wanted you just never know why people change their minds so anyway a claim was filed so that had to take what about three weeks of investigation but Poshmark ruled in my favor and I did get my money for that bag. So I was pleased about that because I, you know, really do try to be as honest as possible um, and forthcoming with all things. So I want everybody from my who buy for me to have a really good experience. Now that I've gotten all that out, I just said all that to say my experience has been good. Let me show you one of my most recent purchases. As you know, last time I purchased a Dooney and Burke, well, I purchased another one, guys. So, Parsha uploaded this 
drawstring Claremont bag and it was brand new with tags it looked beautiful so I said I want that bag it was an excellent deal she had gotten it on QVC it was a buy one get one free or somewhere where it was a buy one get one free and she did not want the one in this color so this one is in bone let's do the reveal so here is the Claremont drawstring and I believe these came out in 2015 or at least they were sold on QVC in 2015 um, not sure when she got these because I'm sure they've been selling them constantly since then but this one was priced originally at $288 like I said brand new with tags has not been used um really love this bag I got it for $78 which I thought was a really great deal for it being brand new so what I love about it once again Dooney is known for its quality the stitching is impeccable the leather is beautiful. It does have that beautiful leather smell. Everything is all leather, but this is some type of a treated leather. It kind of has like a small grainy type uh, texturing to it. So it's like something in between a pebble and a, a Stefiano type leather. And I just love the trim on there. It does have the four feet on the bottom. Very wide and roomy. It has the adjustable strap nice uh, gold hardware on it and so you have the eyelets that are trimmed in gold it even has the um, Dooney uh, logo there so it has a nice modern take so it does not have the duck so if you like the duck sorry um, on the inside really beautiful has a nice bright chevron color uh, on the inside plenty of pockets so you have zip pockets slip pockets on both sides and it has a key fob so you won't lose your keys everything like I say has it has this nice leather inside trim as well and like I said just really nice and roomy love this bag drawstring and it does hold its shape very structured so I got that bag and that was a really great deal. I will definitely be purchasing purchasing from her again. Now, the other items that I got, I got a topper coat to kind of uh, wear over my slacks and dresses as a little dressy look. Got that as a Calvin Klein. And then I got some Birkenstocks, just casual slip-ons that I can wear around the house or if I have to make a quick run. Now those are being shipped so I can't actually show you the actual ones that I got but I can show you the picture of what I purchased so I'll put in some uh, still clips to show you those We've got really great deals on those <laughs> So those are the items that I got from Poshmark. Now the Calvin Klein topper coat I had seen when I was out with a friend. We had gone shopping. She wanted to stop by Dillard's and I saw that topper coat. I tried it on. They only had it in a 4 and an 8 and the 4 was a little too tight and the 8 was a little too big and I needed a 6. So and it was $80 and I was not willing to pay that but I knew in my mind that I could go back and possibly shop on Poshmark to see if they have it and that is what I did and I found it and it was in a size 6 it was brand new so I guess it was meant to me to have it because it was or meant for me to have it because it was only $50 and I you know what I probably should have put in a, a bid and gone under but I didn't because I wanted it uh, that badly and it was already so much less than the markdown markdown that I saw at Dillard's because originally I think it was like $130 and then it was marked down to like $80 at Dillard's and so to see it for $50 in the size that I wanted I said I better get this before it's gone and I wore it to church already I love it so don't you know buy impulsively because you can always find a better deal somewhere else 
and I always believe in shopping within your means and but anyway I sell this to say you can find really great deals you don't have to go you know out of your means you can always find a better deal and some of you might have been able to find that at an even better deal but like I said I just really wanted that so badly but I want to encourage everybody to check out Parshmark you can find me at uh, Noble Artisan on Poshmark and they have a lot of great deals just another way to really uh, save money so as always remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he truly loves us so much thank you once again to all my subscribers please like and subscribe if you have not if this is your first time tuning in I would love to hear from you and I will be uploading the thrift haul soon guys so I'll see you soon bye